Hello, just testing. I'm waiting for the sound. <laughs> Are you gonna work? Do I need to make it louder? That sounds good. to have fun. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope I'm not bothering you. Looks like you're pretty deep in thought. Does it? I just wanted to stop by and ask. It was your turn to cook last night, yeah? Uh, yes. Well, it was great. I was wondering if you could give me some tips. You know, teach me how to cook. I hear a girl loves a man who can cook. Sylvain. Yeah? You are from Fargus. You must understand how it appears for you to spend time with one from Dusker. To be near me is to invite tedious misunderstanding. Oh, please. I don't care who misunderstands what about me. I talk to who I want. Besides, I believe the Dusker people are innocent. You do? Fargus and Dusker have been friendly since... heck, forever. So why would our old friends from Dusker just up and assassinate our king? It doesn't make sense. Sure, there are probably folks from Dusker who don't like Fargus, but do I think there's enough of them to mount an attack and slaughter the king and his whole company of elite guards? It is difficult to believe, considering the discrepancy in skill and number. Right? At most, I can see a misguided group of people from Dusker conspiring with someone else who had plans to dethrone the king. Maybe they were even lured into participating and used as scapegoats. Regardless, it doesn't concern you or the rest of your people. A person can't be judged by the worst of their kind. Or where would any of us be? Besides, people like to talk about me anyway, so let them talk. Okay, you're making a weird face. What did I say? I have misjudged you. I was under the impression you only cared about women. <laughs> well, I'm glad I've cleared up that misunderstanding. But really, there's no way I'm the only person who figured all that out. There must be people who think like me in Ferdiad, including His Highness. Agreed. But whatever the truth, we are still perceived as traitorous assassins. Once a misunderstanding takes hold, it isn't easy to clear the air. Not without solid evidence of the truth. But even if we found evidence that your people are innocent, those negative sentiments wouldn't disappear overnight. The only thing that can change that is time and effort. Depressing, isn't it? Time and effort. Yes, I believe you're right. Man, that got serious. Shouldn't we lighten things up with a nice cooking lesson? Very well. There's a lot. Ah! No! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Please tell me that wasn't the pin! What was that noise? To do! Well, as you can see, the pin kind of exploded. Just a little. How did you manage that? I looked away for a moment and the pan just went boom! 
Ugh, I'm grateful nothing caught fire, but now the kitchen is a mess. Are you hurt? Oh, no. I just got a little spooked. <laughs> I really lucked out, didn't I? That could have turned out much worse. Indeed. But do not turn your back next time. Your life could depend on it. Right. Sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. Let me help you. Huh? I will help you clean up. No, I can't let you do that. This is all my fault. You shouldn't have to help me. I have time. Let us fix this quickly. We will need to prepare more food before the others arrive at the dining hall. Oh, you're right. So, after we clean up, you're also gonna help me cook? You object? Of course not! I'm just so sorry to bother you with this. I think I know what happens in this chapter, I'm not entirely sure. But there's a brawling tournament. I could make Casper go to that. Uh, let me just have a look at the battles real quick. quite interesting ones. Maybe I should do these too, if I can run into sugaries. But we're gonna explore this one. And we'll just kind of do supports here and there so it's not all support and then all of this content. <laughs> I'll try and space it. I do not know why it is so, but being here makes me feel quite unwell. I am so sleepy and a bit... It is a struggle merely to stay conscious. Are you feeling the same? And yet, it feels familiar. As though pulled from a corner of my memory. From a time long ago. I simply cannot fathom it.
I thought I had a teddy bear somewhere in here for her, but apparently not. My father came by during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. He left soon after, but I saw him talking to Edelgard first. I wonder what they could have to talk about. I guess that would make sense. He is the Minister of Military Affairs, after all. Still, though, I could have sworn those two didn't get along. Maybe it's uh, the fact that I stole you from her, <laughs> you know, asking, asking why his son would do something like that. His bulletin. <laughs> Hello. What are you doing on here? You're meant to be working. Hmm? Hmm? Why are you in my chat? Um, I made a new chat on the on the server uh, for Magic the Gathering. If uh, if uh, you saw, because uh, I met someone uh, in in stream yesterday that uh, wants help with the Magic deck. <laughs> so it's just like, yeah, you can help. That's that's your job now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You can take charge, yeah. It's it's very unlikely that you'll actually get anything, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. What am I looking at? Oh. Five years since I started here, this is certainly the busiest. It was four. I've been here five. Ah, what's a year here or there? Don't be petty now, Shamir. You count your enemies the same way. If I take care of them quickly, what does it matter how many there are? Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to ignore you, Professor. As you were saying, it's been a busy year. There never seemed to be enough hands for the work. That reminds me. Do you have that thing? If you do, we want it. Want? No, we need it. Give it to me, not her. Hey now, I'm the one who brought it up. We may be friends, but that's just rude. A two-toned wheat stone? Hey you, do me a favor. 
silver sword, black sun steel, wheat stone. The four or five years since I started, it was four. Ah, you can't. If I take care, as you were saying, that reminds. Want? Hey, now. I get it. You've just had the same I have conversation. A mm. Okay, so I don't. Do I want a sword or do I want a bow? <laughs> Essentially. I usually go for Catherine. Of the four, it was. Ah, you can't. Your. If I take care, as you were saying, that rem. Want? Hey, now. Hey, you. Do me a favor. Um. Oh. Of the four, or it was four. Ah. I just take but both. as you were that want. Hey now, I have a favor to ask. I can just take both. Sure. You're up for a challenge. I forget how many missions there are at the start of the months. It just, just, it takes you an hour to get through all, all of these supports. I mean, look at this. There's just loads. <laughs> I have too many. It's ridiculous. To, like go through so many different things. Congratulations on winning the battle. I certainly Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Um my YouTube has gotten really popular as well recently. I'm getting like 34 to 40 views like per uh, episode I upload now. I was like, what? <laughs> That's crazy! Oh god. Yeah. I know, right? So weird. Right. Going. The only thing about this is how big the areas are. Need something? Uh, no. See you again soon. I'm good. Areas. What is it? I'm in the middle of my daily duties. I assume you know by now that the four saints are all important figures in the teachings of Seros. Still, I have a particular fondness for Saint Sethlene. I have something to ask of you. I'm not going to remember how to do half of these missions, but you know. loads of stuff here. I don't come in here very often. Hmm. Proper conduct tournament? Oh, good 
Please be careful. Okay. Huh? I could use your help. It's gonna be so much easier when I'm playing through Fire Emblem Engage. <laughs> I don't have to like rummage through uh, every single room. I'd be thankful. Ever wish you could return to your life as a mercenary? Is that so? I suppose you have become accustomed to your new line of work. This month's assignment will again take you outside of Garrigmach, to Ramayr Village. It was in Ramayr that you first met Alois and the rest of his order, was it not? Half a year has come and gone since then. How quickly time passes. I appreciate this. Hey, you. What are you doing at work that you can't focus on? able to focus on numbers. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> you know, Professor, the tournament fish and the meal we indulged in after the battle of the eagle and lion? Why, all of the food I've eaten in this monastery has been absolutely delectable. Every last bite of it. <laughs> Food really is the only yeah, thing you think about, huh? <laughs> Hardly. Is it that hard? I think about all sorts of things. Oh, like tomorrow's Making menu, it. for instance? Why do you have to make I something have a like so simple or complex? If they want two weeks off, just give them two weeks off. <laughs> Professor. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but I would deeply appreciate it if you would promise to keep my association with Edelgard to yourself. It is a complicated history what she and I share. I appreciate it.
Well, why haven't they, like, just found a resolution for it? <laughs> no, that would be the easy Professor, thing to do. Professor, I can offer nothing more than this. But I do ask that you consider trading. I am in your debt, Professor. <laughs> this is the really <laughs> oh, you're, you're the solution. I bet that gives you quite a big ego. Hey. Hey, wait a minute, please. You're like, I'm Could the you let that me can have solve that? this? Here, I'll give you fantastic. Thanks, Professor. You have no idea how happy this makes me. Entry level work. <sighs> Sounds too hard for entry level work. Oh. That's not as bad then. I still wouldn't enjoy it, I don't think. Um, well. Good day, Professor. Well then, I should go. Is that all it was? Just like a singular piece of paper? Are you serious? Couldn't you just have gotten hmm. paper by yourself instead of lazy? Getting me to run around Garrick Mark. Well done. You have my thanks. Professor, I picked this up, but... Oh, hey! It worked out perfectly! Wanna trade me what you're holding for it? Thanks, Professor! This is great! Essentially, I'm just trading between three people that could trade between themselves. <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> Serious, even this guy's in on it. Thanks, Japan. <laughs> Pardon me, Mercedes. Hello, Professor. Would you mind trading it with me for? Oh, oh, thank you so much. I'll be sure to take great care of it. Now I'm gonna have to trade what she's just given me to somebody else. Oh, look, I was right. When is this gonna end? <laughs> well, um, if it's not too much of a bother, thank you so much. I'll treasure it forever. Oh, Professor, excuse me, I... I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'm trying to recruit her too quickly. That's a nice thing you have there, Professor. Don't suppose you're- why don't you trade it for this? Excellent doing business with you, Professor. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Oh, 
You brought it, Professor? Hand it over and I'll- How? You can give it here. Excuse me. I asked first. Why don't we- Seems the Professor- Thanks. I knew I could count on you. Yeah, I wanted the sword. <laughs> I always go for the sword. to spend my money on other oh, I prefer to spend my stuff on other things. Like getting people to like me. Uh, but true. I'll just do Ash. I would be liking that greatly. This looks delicious. Let's eat. This is my this it I like this dish was my father's favorite. Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste.
That's Sophia, yeah, Sophia likes peach. That wasn't difficult. <laughs> I'll fondly remember eating this meal with you. Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. Sorry to add. It is a. Thank you. Okay, no pressure. We 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 can do this. Is it chamomile you like? I apologize for the wait. You have to get more chamomile. Mm, this smells good. I wonder how it tastes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some more chamomile. <laughs> Darn you, Dimitri. Thank you. How warm and comforting. Hmm? I think not. So it is. Please, Dimitri. So it is. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I normally always get three on Dimitri. Perhaps because of my strength, I have always been rather clumsy. I always end up breaking things that are precious. No. I don't know what the right response is to that. <laughs> What's the correct response? Thank you for the treat. I had a wonderful time. I would love to do this again, if that is acceptable to you. Dear me. I need to get some chamomile tea. Turn soon, please. Hmm. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Oh, he's been gone for periods of time before and has always returned, so I'm not too worried. Still... I wonder what in the world he's doing out there. <sighs> Professor? We got Petra on lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> Once you get them to be, you're like, pretty safe. <laughs> in getting them and Petra is 
a proper stocky fighter, so that's good. I'm glad. Please take my apologies. I lost time while I was training. There are not many chances for real fighting here. My body is more weak than it was. Weaker, I mean. I will keep training now. I hope your night is good. I need to have more training. There are things that I have not done yet. Things that have to be done. For the future. I have to try with hardness. Training, studying, socializing. I will not always be having time to do those things. And speaking the language of Fodlin, I worry I will never be doing it just right. Why? Because... The position of Bridget is weak. Fodlin and Dagda are big. Bridget is a small island in the middle of them. Bridget has great beauty, but little power. We will not have... Uh, will not survive unless we get more strength. I will yeah. lead Bridget, and so I have responsibility. I have to have more strength than anyone. She does. That, that's her whole entire character. I speak funny because I'm foreign. <laughs> Having more strength than anyone might be un... Uh, impossible. But I have to give it my best try. I am an ally of everyone, and I have belonging at the Officer's Academy. That is also why I try with hardness. You can always be counting me. I mean counting on me but you should know that one of these days will be when i return to bridget before that day do not try stopping me from trying and please keep watch watching over me with you i can try with more hardness than i could alone yeah i thought that as well there we go b support uh who else have we got this way. Mm, yeah. Professor. Oh, it's Raphael. Great timing, Professor. I was just going to come find you. Are you busy? I have a question about formations. I don't understand them at all. Are the speed of battle and the terrain connected somehow? There's too much to memorize. I don't? Then what do I have to know? I think I understand the basics. To start, you just... Ah, okay. I think I've got it. Thanks for the help, Professor. Brains and brawn. You've really got it all. With your help, I should have no trouble becoming a proper knight. Huh? Didn't I tell you? My parents were merchants of the Alliance. They died in an accident. That's why it's up to me to look after my little sis. I'm not great with bookkeeping, so I don't think I'd make a good merchant. I talked to Grandpa, and he suggested I become a knight. So I sold all our valuables and used the money to pay my way into the academy. My sis won't survive if I get kicked out. So I can't give up now. I might have tried being a mercenary if I didn't have my little sis to look after. I probably shouldn't say this, but being a mercenary does sound like an easier life. Mercenaries have no responsibilities and no one else to worry about. But someone's got to take care of my little sis. So that's out of the question. Serving as a knight in a noble house is more secure. And you don't have to worry about dying unless there's a war. My sis has been through so much. I don't want her to have to worry about me. Hey, do you have any siblings, Professor? Professor? 
Then you probably think I'm missing out on my freedom, having to support her, huh? But working hard for my sister isn't too bad. Call it a burden, call it a challenge. If it makes my sister happy, I'm happy too. You should ask your father to have some more kids. <laughs> anyway, that's why I've got to become a proper knight. Ah, uh, yes, just have kids with somebody that you don't like. It's fine. And you'll have a sister <laughs> or a brother. Dimitri, you can last. There we go. He did it. He didn't collapse. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can just relax because <laughs> I already have all the supports I want. I could be really mean and decide to uh, support more people and just take as many people as possible. a really hard one to do so I'm probably not going to bother with that one. That's mine. So I can probably get her. Uh, these aren't really involved in the end story. You don't have to go up against them. Uh, so I could try and get Leone. I'll never use her but she's a real a tough cookie to, to go up against. I can't have Hilda because you have to be in the yellow house to do that. I think I can get Louise as well if I want. Dorothy I can get, so I might try and do I can do there for today. I gotta instruct my mom. Still the clock with his goals.
bad thing uh, is that I don't Professor. motivate my own people a dog fly yeah. yeah I think that's what I want me to be hey professor did I ever tell you what happened with that thief You know, the book thief we encountered in town. I went after him, and I did manage to catch up, but... Oh. I made myself bleed. Picking, picking spots. Oh no, I captured him easily. I'm pretty quick on my feet, you know. But I decided not to make him pay for the book. <laughs> my pockets were pretty empty after that incident, if you want to know the truth. Well, what happened was, when I caught him, I asked him why he stole the book. He said he thought it would fetch a good price and that he really needed the money. He had a sick kid and couldn't pay for medicine. Oh, maybe you're right. But if he really did have a sick child, that would be a matter of life and death. A little money is nothing compared to that. I'd rather believe a lie than risk someone's life if I'm wrong. And to be completely honest, there was a time when I wasn't so different from him. Yeah. He it did. was a long time ago, and I've put all that behind me now. But yes, I was. My parents died of illness, so uh, maybe I had it to was a very for rad my book. brother and sister. I did my best to earn money for them legitimately, but I wasn't able to bring home enough. So I turned to thieving, from people on the streets, from shops, even from soldiers. I knew it was wrong, but seeing my brother and sister's smiling faces made me too happy to stop. I really regret that part of my life. I was stupid. But shortly after I turned nine, I crept into a local noble's mansion, aiming to steal whatever I could get my hands on. The noble had all sorts of valuables, but what really caught my eye was a book with a fancy cover. That book was Lug and the Maiden of Wind. The night in the illustrations was so impressive I just couldn't tear my eyes away. You probably see where this is going. Moments after I grabbed the book, I was caught in the act by the noble. And that noble was none other than Lenato. But Lenato was incredibly kind. Without asking any questions, he gave me the book. And money, too. When I told him I couldn't read, he invited me into his mansion, along with my brother and sister. He taught me how to read, personally. So, with the thief I caught in town, I was trying to do the same thing. To be like Lenato, I want to make up for the bad things I've done. To leave this world better than I found it. That's why, even if it wasn't easy on my pockets, I'm proud to say I helped him. I know what you're trying to say. My contribution probably won't change much. And it's not like I have the money to help everyone who's suffering from poverty. Even so, I can't bear to stand by and do nothing. What else could I have done, Professor?
we finished. It's all coming together. I understand more every day. Right. We need to get some of these supports done because sometimes they have a cut off point. Here you go, Felix. Have some tea. Oh. Hmm. Sorry, but we're all out of cakes. Should I bake some more? Please, don't. Oh, your clothes are so dirty. Let me wash them for you. Mercedes, what's wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me. I'm just making tea. Is there something wrong with that? You're not my mother. You don't have to bother with all this. I can do without it. I I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. You just remind me so much of my little brother. I do? Yes, his name is Emil. We have different fathers, but we grew up in the same household. That is, until I was about eight or nine years old. I haven't seen him since then. Sorry to state the obvious, but I'm not your brother. I'm not Emil. Can't you find someone else to bother? He's harsh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll leave you alone. Please help yourself to more tea if you'd like. I can leave the pot. Goodbye. I am me, Felix Hugo Fraldarius. There is no one else. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Nightfall? Already? I suppose I'd better wrap up. Good work with your training today, Ingrid. Here's something to wipe up the sweat. Whoa, Mercedes. Hi. Hello. How long have you been... Um... Thank you. You're very welcome. I've been here since you started. Not long. Huh. Well, my apologies for not having noticed you. I get so caught up in training, you know. But why are you here? I can't imagine it was too terribly interesting watching me. I disagree. I just couldn't help but admire your training technique. I have to say, you are very impressive. I'm nowhere near as graceful as you. Graceful? I wouldn't say that, but thank you. If I'm to be honest, I'm the one who admires you. Goodness, me? How so? You're always Ooh. so put together. You hold yourself with such poise and have such a keen eye for fashion. I mean, even the handkerchief you handed me smells like... Lavender, is it? Why are you smelling it's a just handkerchief? Lovely. That perfume is a favorite of mine. I'm so glad you like it. Even the fact that you thought to put perfume on your handkerchief is delightfully foreign to me. I'd never have thought of that. I'll gladly share some with you. You're welcome to come visit my room whenever you'd like. We can have tea oh. and chat. How does that sound? Uh, that sounds really nice. Yes. <laughs> Sipping tea and having a chat. It's unlike me, but it sounds lovely. From now on, we'll meet up whenever we have time. We can go right now if you're free. Oh, no need to trouble yourself and rearrange things for me. It's no trouble at all. You'll never know if you're the type who enjoys chatting over tea if you never try. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah. Try her tea. Hey there, Flane. I thought I'd drop by and see if you'd care for a... Now, just a moment, Sylvain. If you must speak with me, I implore you to do so from where you stand. My apologies if this comes across as rude, but please do not come any closer to me. Excuse me? I am sorry. My brother has explicitly warned me not to go near you. Seth said that? 
I bet he also told you any woman who comes too close to me is, how does he say it, doomed to misfortune? He used those very words. Is it true then? Come on, he's just messing with you, obviously. Of course I would prefer to believe that, but one can never know for certain. Particularly when similar stories are constantly in circulation about you. I have heard that men and women alike have been seduced by your nefarious ways. I hate to suggest my talents are being oversold, but... I have heard that you toy with people's emotions, like a cat toys with its prey. Do I really look like such a villain to you? Well, perhaps not. You do not strike me as much of a charmer. When you put it like that, I feel like I should defend... Yeah, forget it. Let's get to the actual point. Did I not tell you, Sylvain? Stay away from me! It's kind of awkward talking from so far away. Can I please step just a little? Truly, there are countless terrible stories of your behavior. I've heard that you panic when there aren't women around to flirt with, that you've gone as far as flirting with horses and even chickens. Oh, come on. Who would even... <laughs> you should know that your brother has an overactive imagination. I would like to believe that you are a sincere and reputable person, Sylvain. But there is no smoke without fire. Or so the saying goes. I may not be the most respectable fellow you'll ever meet, but... Until I can be certain, please refrain from coming too close to me. Now, if you will excuse me, I must be on my way. Flame, wait! Come back! And she's gone. All I was trying to do was deliver a message. Flame, hey! The professor said we need to come to the cathedral! I'll run really far ahead so you don't have to walk near me! There, I tried telling her. The professor can't be mad about that. <sighs> that was my worst mistake yet. Why am I so clumsy all the time? The women laughed and forgave me, but... Oh, how am I supposed to face them now? Hey there, Annette. What's with the sour face? Everything okay? I don't think I've ever seen you look so miserable. Don't tease me like that, Caspar. Can't you see I'm down? Sorry, sorry. Y you know I didn't mean it. Did something happen? You don't have to share if you don't want to, but I think talking it out might help. You might be right about that. Are you sure you don't mind? Not at all. Well, today they were short on staff in the dining hall, so I offered to help out, but I sort of messed up. Big. Oh no. What happened? All the plates in the kitchen went flying through the air, and the pot started giving off this weird blue steam. Wow, sounds more like art than cooking to me. The people in the dining hall saw the chaos and started panicking, and then soldiers came running. Finally, Catherine appeared and shut everyone up with a slash of Thunderbrand. All I was trying to do was help out. But in the end, I just ended up making more work for everyone. I'm awful like that. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Accidents happen. It's not like you were trying to make a mess. I know. The women at the dining hall laughed and forgave me, but... Was anyone hurt? Well, no, but... Well, there you go! No need to dwell on it and keep moping around. You had a bad day, but I'm sure you'll do better tomorrow. You know what? You're right! I guess all I can do is try harder next time. Thanks, Caspar. That really did help me feel better. I can't keep moping around. I've got to work on my cooking skills. And I can count on you to be my taste tester, right? Right! Uh, sure. Just as long as you're not making any new art projects. <laughs> And I'm done. Why is the oh, it's because I have supports that I can't do yet. That's on today. Fish of mystery. Do I want 
to do the battle today or the battle tomorrow? I prefer to do the food one than I do the fishing one. So many quests I need to do. <laughs> oh god. I don't wanna do those ones, I wanna do like decent ones. I did this one. There you are. I was looking for you. I need a favor. Yes, it's an unusual favor. My father sent a messenger. He wants me to return to Fraldaria's territory. Rodriga Shil Fraldarius. The highest ranking member of the Fargus nobility. I believe you've met him, so I heard. But about the favor. You're familiar with the tragedy of Duskir, I presume? I'm just gonna say now. His father is hot. <laughs> After the king's death, public order disintegrated. Bandits continue to raid villages across the kingdom including those within Fraldaria's territory. My father says he needs my help driving the bandits away. Precisely. Good guess. Perhaps I shouldn't pull you into this. It stems from my family's failure to secure the region. But honestly, I want to see you in action. I never tire of watching you fight. And it'll be much more interesting for you than the training ground. Or maybe this task, driving off bandits, seems dull to a former mercenary? You'll let me think about it. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I don't wanna. While I'm at it, I have a second favor to ask of you. Could you recruit more fighters? I bet there will be willing volunteers if you're the one inviting them. I'll set off on my own and meet up with you there. Yeah, like I have friends outside of the blue house.
Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Remember. I've never known this. <laughs> Good or bad. Um, it's fine, you know, it's it's good. Oh, I didn't mean to store that sword. Um, yeah, I want to give it those ones because I do not trust myself. The Lance of Ruin hasn't been used yet. Ruin. I need to have a look at 
I bullied you the other day. I don't know what you're talking about. Welcome. Tara on Netflix. Is that is it is it um a horror film? Can you tell me the frog towers are not related to the horror film? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we watched that in cinema. Did you did you like it? Specific tarot cards, so before you leave here. I think <laughs> that would be dangerous. <laughs> Come back soon. I know why I'm putting so much prep into this. I don't I don't I don't need this much prep. again about my tarot cards being bad and then that's your own fault at that point <laughs> they gave bad luck though oh they're terrifying
they can just go on their hand. ready after all of that <laughs> struggling to defeat some bandits what a pathetic old man my father is some villagers are trapped let's help them escape Felix my son you finally brought reinforcements That wasn't uh, a nice reaction. Jeez, tell him. Um. Should I do? I'm on it. Stay focused. Should I have held back? I'll go. will be fine. Good people of this hamlet, escape while you can. You see what I mean by Felix's dad being hot? <laughs> he gets replaced. It's so bad. This is our chance.
my turn. Okay, let's spread out. battle a chance to grow weakling that should put a stop to their reinforcements
You saved me. I have held back. We must all. All in a day's. Great work. The stronghold is ours. No more bandits should come crawling out of here. Out of luck. I like how Much needed.
do that. Thank you. That was tough. I'll stick. Don't need it. <laughs> he can open the door anyway. My friends. Prince Dimitri is here to help. I am humbled, Your Highness, and so sorry to trouble you. No, it is fine. As a man of royal birth, this is the obvious course. However, it does not exactly seem like they are remnants of Miklon's faction. Indeed. Nothing but common bandits, and yet, ruffians like that have recently surged in number. I am aware. For now, let us focus on saving the villagers.
That all? Finish. Finish it in that. Finish it. And change for that should do it. We've chased those ruffians away for good. Thank you so much for your assistance. Please accept this small gift as thanks. You saved most of the villages. I think I saved all of the villages. Wodao. Um, the last of the ice cream flavored sweets. We are grateful for your help. I doubt those bandits will stop anytime soon, but at least this village is safe. This village was important to the late king. If we hadn't saved it, I wouldn't have been able to face his majesty. How foolish. Pardon? We were protecting your subjects, not your ego. I don't give a damn as to whether you can bring yourself to face a dead king. I will not tolerate such language from you. I came here to hone my blade and to save innocent people. I suppose if I had died, you would say the same thing you did after Glenn's death. He died like a true knight. I have nothing more to say. I'm going back. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to see that. He's been that way for four years now. Of course, I understand his sentiment, to some extent. It all comes down to, well, a difference of opinion. So that's how you feel about it. How fortunate Felix is to have met someone like you. There's nothing as heartening as having someone around who really understands you. He's an odd boy, thick-headed in some ways, but he's my son all the same. I'm glad he has you to look after him. There we go. Hi. 
How we doing? Uh, I'm doing good today. Uh, I am back with Fire Emblem. <laughs> uh, Nikachu's in the chat, Hedgehog. Uh, if you want to talk about magic. <laughs> Uh, I think I was doing the Red Canyon one. Hmm, what was that name again? Green. <laughs> So is he. He's he's working oh, whilst uh, no being on my stream. I simply can't recall. Oh, I have it. Xanado. That's it. It was not long ago that we were there. And still, I somehow managed to forget. Well, that place brought back some fragments of my memory. I'm professional. I feel we must return to find some answers there. Ah. Well, you can. We can also talk about D and D. Yes, you are right. For as the saying goes, there is no time like the present. It is most unlike our professor to go wandering alone like that. Curious, your highness? Yes. I have an uneasy feeling about this. Let's gather the others and find out what is going on. Yes. It is all coming back to me. This structure... Oh, but it's as though my memories are clouded. The most important pieces are obscured. I once called this home. I have no doubt. I seem to recall something on the other side of that wall. I cannot see it, but I can still feel it. It is not my imagination. I know this to be true. We are already deep within this valley. <laughs> That awful sound going against a monster, maybe. This is no time to joke around. Do not pretend you didn't hear. Look there at the entrance of the valley, a giant shadow. I've always wanted to do one of those mystery missions, you know, when like someone dies and you have to figure out how they died. Those are cool. Ones. Uh, I think somebody's bow broke. Oh, yeah, it did. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. a bunch. I know. I, I've considered playing Danganronpa. Come back soon. Welcome.
Oh no, let's be on the phone. Hi! You're all distracting me now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, why is three three o'clock almost four o'clock the popular hour? You know what I do need you to try and figure out for me? Um I need you to try and figure out how to get my bot working oh, again. Because I do have uh Stuff. But because I don't stream on a regular basis, it uh, constantly, you know, doesn't like doing that. So, like, if I do display in the exclamation mark Discord, it won't do like the Discord um, link anymore because the bot, the bot's like asleep. <laughs> So I need you to figure that out. Yeah. It's weird. I don't like it. I was thinking about taking to do off my team, but when I look at this, I might need him. It's just that he moves so slow. Dimitri and Sylvain might struggle on this one.
We're just gonna go for it. We'll be fine. <laughs> what is it? Yep. I need. I'm just gonna. We're just gonna leave the controllers alone. Those hungry wolves. That howl must have riled them up. We have no choice but to fight our way out. Give it your all. This is bad. It's a good thing we managed to catch up with our professor. Wolves at the front, hawks at the rear, and at the canyon mouth, a demonic beast. Or perhaps to call it a stray beast would be most fitting. If we cannot take out the beast, I doubt we will ever see the monastery again. We must help our professor, first and foremost. This is a tough situation for anyone. What should I do? Give it my all. This would be a bit more, uh, you know, 
challenging. I'll say that I'm on and it. then I'll regret it. <laughs> Stay focused. Another swarm of hawks, and our professor is still over there.
Had to be done. You can... Let's not do that. <laughs> Stay focused. should I do?
do, please spare me. Another way. Should I fall back? The answer to that, Ingrid, is yes. I have improved. Cheers, Felix. <laughs> Thank you. 
stay focused. Does heal have to be so specific? What? I lost. Not me. Never me. Forgive me. Inexperience got the best of me. Give up. wasn't with you. The better. It seemed. I'll go. Probably take those out before we approach that beast. Well, you deal with it. I'm gonna just do this. There's no point in me doing a big attack with the dude because, as it says, axes have a lower thing on this dude, so.
stronger. You make me feel safe. Our work is done? My, my. Things did not go as planned. Let us return before any more hawks or wolves join us. But what was that demonic beast doing within the Red Canyon? These MVPs is so weird. Professor, I am so glad that you are unharmed. What if something had happened to you? Your Highness, our instructor is safe. We should return to the monastery at once. Yes, I suppose you are right. If we stay here much longer, we are sure to be reprimanded. It is not untrue to assert that our professor led us here for battle experience. To do, you surprise me. And you, Professor. I hope you will tell us what brought you here. Oh dear. I put us in a bit of danger there. <laughs> we are most fortunate that those delinquents followed us. You very nearly met your end. <laughs> what a marvelous professor you must be for all your students to be so concerned. Hmm, you seem more confident in your ability to teach. But that makes sense, as you have me to help you out. <sighs> How disappointing to have dived so deeply into danger, and yet to have nothing to show. What is this strange feeling? My memories. Do you feel them stirring? How curious. You seem to have grown stronger. And all thanks to our journey to Xanado. It really was worth all that effort. Huh? You found this? I dare say you may find a use for that. You should decide how best to use that thing. But wow, we got a lot out of this trip. It was a bother for a spell, but in the end, I feel we should think fondly of our little trip. We actually had a delightful time, wouldn't you say? <laughs> <sighs> How do I do this now?
just try and... How do you refer a friend? Let me just check. Give me two minutes just to check something for someone. Um, we're just having a mini break.
I'm really... All right. Hey. Hey. You're driving back home now? I did not know I had to. Okay. Have have fun. Be safe. Hope you don't run into any mischievous people on the road. come to invite me to your class. What with my stupendous grades and all, I would actually enjoy being in your class quite a lot. This was a successful interaction, I must say. Please provide me with all the most challenging assignments. I want to be well equipped for the future. Well, I guess that answers my question <laughs> about Lysithia. That was, that was easy. <laughs> I like this. Oh, this is one of my favorites. How did you know? <laughs> this should be perfect. Well, that worked out. Am I making progress? Still far from enough.
Um, did you need something from me? Thank you very much. So nice and warm. Yes. Thank you very much for the tea. I look forward to doing this again. Look at that. He looks beautiful. and implying. Got it. Okay, that's fine. She sorted herself out. <laughs>
Looks this looks delicious. Deli this is my. This dish. It was my father's favorite. This food is a revelation. <laughs> I can't help but smile when I eat it. Yes? I thank you. This one, 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 yes? I thank you. Return soon, please. 
Hey, welcome. Come again. What do you require? Farewell. Hmm. Greetings, Professor. Oh, except that Tomas departed the monastery and has yet to return. Consider that reported. He's been gone for periods of time before and has always returned, so I'm not too worried. Still, I wonder what in the world he's doing out there. Congratulations on winning the Battle of the Eagle. I certainly feel... Still, though, I could have sworn those two didn't get along. What's this? No, it's not mine. What's this? No, it's not mine. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's that? Hey. I know you figure medicine, but magic...
I'm worried about Remire. That affliction is a little too mysterious for my liking. I'm pretty sure it's not normal. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but I would deeply appreciate it if you would promise to keep my association with Edelgard to yourself. It is a complicated history, what she and I share. Professor, there are more knights at the underlying. It is most distressing. Professor, what do you think about all this? If it were indeed a disease, why would it only affect the villagers and not infect the knights stationed there? No, that. No. 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 I thought we if only I'm not 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 It was four. Ah. You count your... If I take... As you were saying. Huh. 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 Oh. Of the four... It was... Ah. You count... If I take... As you were saying. It's not mine. It's not. It's not mine. It's not mine. It's not mine. It's not mine. It's not. 
It's not... It's not mine. <sighs> oh, wait, yeah. Hey! I know you fake medicine, but magic... Such power. I didn't catch a single fish last month. I'm casting my line just as the captain taught me all those years ago. You're going with the captain to investigate Ramire Village soon, aren't you? It feels like so long ago that you two came here. I used to think they were the best, but now- But worrying about it won't solve my problems. What if I can never eat fish again? That is- That is- That is- That is- That- 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 They say that after... How about you? Hey! All this month, you will not speak of it to me. Professor, do you happen to know anything? Lord Arundel is here? That may well explain it. His Highness's headaches have been growing steadily worse. I would prefer that he retire to bed early. That is not... You lose anything, that is Dimitri? That the no. Did you? Not Dimitri. It's because I literally that just saw Dimitri like two minutes that ago. That is not. That is not. I 
heard about it's certainly troubling if it's a contagion we at garrick mock should be on the lookout as well your words are oddly persuasive professor even if they're not exactly based on anything what 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 Hello, Professor. You're really on the move today. A lot to get done, I take it? I'm happy to help. Uh, tell me, is there anything I can do to lighten your load a bit? Oh, surely there must be something. Uh, don't be shy about asking for help. We're practically siblings, after all. Cut from the same cloth. I was raised by Gerald just as you were, so we should have no trouble getting along. Huh? <laughs> Did I not mention that? How thoughtless! What an embarrassing gaffe! My parents died when I was small, and I came to live in the monastery. It was an aimless existence. But sometimes, a knight would pass by, wearing magnificent armor. That knight was Geralt. And the first time he laid eyes on me, he made me his squire. What was he thinking, huh? No kidding. I don't think I'll ever fully understand his logic. Later, I heard that the squire preceding me had died of a terrible plague. I looked a bit like him and was about the same age, so... Gerald thought me a suitable replacement. A little nutty, old Gerald, there's no doubt about that. Quite a character. All that was more than 30 years ago. How time flies. That's right. I wasn't even 15 years old. Well, Gerald hardly seems to have aged since then. In fact, over drinks he once told me... Uh, <laughs> perhaps that's a story for another day. At any rate, that's Gerald for you. One of a kind. I don't think there's anyone else quite like him. Right. Well, now you've heard my whole story. I hope that you understand now why I feel such a strong sense of attachment to you. If you're ever in a bind, just give me a holler. I'll help however I can. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> well, I'll uh, let you get back to it. But truly, if I can take anything off your plate, don't hesitate to let me know. Here you are again. I see. The flowers you helped to water are in bloom now. Have a look. Indeed. My sister was fond of this one in particular. Dead. Dusker is a dead land. 
Its flowers were all trampled under the boots of soldiers, but seeing this blossom brings back memories. I do not know why I am telling you all of this. There is little to tell. But if you are from Fodlan, you must know what became of the people of Dusker, the people who betrayed their allies from Fargus, the ones who were punished for regicide. The Dusker are shunned for their crimes, even now. It would be in your interest not to spend any more time around me than necessary. You may think little of it now, but your reputation will eventually suffer. But, to be completely candid, it pleases me to be able to speak with you like this. If you truly do not mind, I would be glad to receive more visits from you in the future. I certainly... How did you know I lost? It's called magic, Dorothea. I just knew.
Easy. What? One minute.
I'm back. I had to go for a little pee break. Gotta go, now. The situation in Vermeyer Village has changed drastically. We don't know much more than that. We're hearing reports that the villagers are killing each other. Some say houses are burning. Regardless, we need to move. Waste your time on me. Saving the villagers is far more important. We haven't a moment to lose. What can we do amid such confusion? We'll have to take up arms against the villagers who are rampaging. If we strike carefully, it should be possible to spare their lives. Oh dear. Isn't there a more peaceful way to deal with this? No matter how long it takes, we'll need to check and rescue them all, one at a time. Those who have gone mad may be victims themselves. Is it possible to save them? Well, saving the poor people who aren't crazy is definitely our top priority. Let's get on with it. Slow down, Annette. It won't do anyone any good if we panic and get injured ourselves. Isn't that... Your Highness, suspicious figures spotted in the village. They seem to be... watching the chaos. Are they the ones responsible for this madness? If so... It's clear what must be done. Kill them all. Don't let a single one of them escape. Sever their limbs and crush their wicked skulls!
fell asleep for a minute. Though. There are some suspicious looking ruffians out there, but our top priority is to rescue the villagers. Got it? I'll rein in the villagers who've turned violent. You focus on rescuing the others. First packing order, and you just like oh, fumbled. Okay. I open house. You got a crit. I might have. Uh, I'll give it my all. You might have made somebody a little bit too OP. Okay. Uh, what should I do? Stay focused. giving orders to the others. Isn't that Tomas, the librarian? Yeah, I, I wonder, I wonder what's, uh, what's going on.
bad as that. Another... Here too. That's the Death Knight. He must be an ally of Tomas, or Solon, or whoever he is. Ha! <laughs> 
Oh, hell yeah. Do you are it. but a savage, insignificant beast. Yet you think you can kill me? Yeah, yeah, I do. You were saying? I will handle it. Why have you gone after this village? What are you planning? <laughs> I could have conducted this experiment on any test subjects. Now that I have what I came for, I must bid you farewell. I must go. <laughs> Wait! Damn it, he's gone. <laughs> I will survey the village. There may still be some survivors. And that's how you finish a quest fast. Yeah. It was a good thing I put that extra speed on uh, the deal. Because he's just so slow otherwise. Looks like we somehow managed to sort things out, and casualties were kept to a minimum. They said they weren't picky about who they used as their test subjects. Because of them, the people of Ramire Village. There you are. That armor. So, you're the Flame Emperor. Yes. I believe you have met my subordinate, the Death Knight. Oh, we've met all right. But back to you. You're the one responsible for the destruction of this village. Do not get the wrong idea. What in blazes does that mean? It is true that I am working with Solon. But that does not mean our objectives are the same. Had I known they planned to do this, I would have stopped it. You have my word. Your words are meaningless. Now, I'll have to insist that you accompany us back to the monastery. I cannot abide that. However, if you wish to join forces, I will hear your plea. What? If left to their own devices, they will commit countless more violent acts like this one. Do you not wish to prevent that? With the sword of the Creator on our side, Solon would not be a threat. Pity, though not unexpected. Pray that you do not live to regret your choice. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald, Professor, have you seen His Highness? What's wrong, kid? Huh? Oh, damn it! He's gone. Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. Since coming to the monastery, you've changed. You've been angry since we first arrived in Ramire Village. And you look so happy when you're instructing the brats. Before the monastery, I'd never seen you bear your emotions like that. Not once. Then perhaps it's a good thing we came to the monastery. If only so I could see your face lit up like that. Or maybe there was never any reason for us to leave the monastery in the first place. Uh, I've put my foot in my mouth, haven't I? Though I suppose it may be nearly that time. Come to my office when you next have a moment to spare. There's something I need to tell you. Just what was that about? I can't recall a time of old when you were at the monastery. I wonder what is hiding in the mist that is your past. Professor, I... I'm sorry you saw that side of me in the village. 
It must have been quite a shock to you and the others. I'm mortified by my behavior. When I saw the chaos and violence there, my mind just went completely dark. I see. So that happens to you as well, then. I've told you before that someday we may find ourselves facing something we simply cannot accept. That's what the chaos in Ramire Village was to me. Solon and the Flame Emperor are both beasts who must be eliminated. Demons who kill the innocent. They aren't even human at this point. Came an accomplice, Get back. But he refused to turn himself in and return with us to the monastery. You see, Professor, I saw the same flames of torment just four years ago in Dusker. I'm sorry, Dimitri. The pain! Make the burning stop! Help me! Somebody! Avenge us! Those who killed us! Tear them apart! Destroy them all! <laughs> My father, my stepmother, four years ago, they lost their lives to those flames. I'll never forget. I still remember their faces, their screams, the tortured last moments of every person who died that day. But right now, all that matters is that we do whatever we can to help the surviving villagers get back to their normal lives. Thank you... for everything. There's a reason that I came to the Officer's Academy. Just one reason. I came here for revenge. And one day... I will have it. Okay. You did well handling that awful business in Rumire Village. I am certain the Goddess shares in our grief at the senselessness of that calamity. More importantly, I was shocked to hear that our own Tomas was actually a dark mage. I must reflect on our blindness. You surely must. You failed to notice that a rat was hiding in your home. Pathetic! Who are these wicked foes? How did Tomas escape your gaze? Tomas came to the monastery 40 years ago, by recommendation of House Ordelia of the Alliance. Around eight years ago, he went back to House Ordelia, before returning to the monastery once again, just last year. After having worked at Garrig Mach for decades, why would he betray us now? Just what did he hope to accomplish? Yuritsa became a professor at the Officer's Academy because of a recommendation from the Imperial Nobility. Supposing that he is the Death Knight, that means that our enemy is an organization that has taken root in at least two territories. In the long history of the Church of Seros, no, long before even that, there have been an endless number of threats to the peace of Fodlan. Yet those who oppose us still operate in the shadows. Their identity is a mystery. I believe that Solon and the Death Knight are merely one part of a much larger whole. A threat to Fodlin's peace? That means we have no choice. We have to stop them all! Without knowing what their objective is, we cannot afford to act recklessly. The Knights will investigate. 
For now, you and your class should focus on your training. That is all for today. Professor, please wait. I know there is much that you still do not understand. However, one thing is clear. You possess great power. I believe that you are destined to be a source of great hope for all. In any case, I expect great things from you. Walk this world proudly, dear Professor. May the Goddess Sothis protect you. The Goddess Sothis? Is that what she just said? Is something the matter? I see. In that case, farewell. Do not say something that we may regret. She... I... What exactly am I? For now, let's leave this place. Please, go! Okay, we're just gonna stop right there and we're gonna end the session and I'm gonna say goodbye. <laughs> I'll see you all next time. Next time. Stay squishy, stay fresh. Bye bye.